Hey, I'm finally back from my Christmas break and excited to get back to work on the game. Over my break, I still managed to indulge myself a little by working on some new music and minor adjustments to the game. On that nerd, I've been brainstorming ideas for the game's finale, and with that has come ideas for how it will function mechanically and how many variants that will be. Uh, of course, these variants will be dependent on the player's actions throughout the game. With those ideas, I've begun working on music for that portion of the game, specifically the music that will play during the battle itself. Today, I'd like to share one of those tracks and how I made it. I won't go into great depth regarding the narrative for the sake of spoilers, but I'll give a brief background for this track's turn. Before that though, here's a quick sneak peek at the track itself. So, this variant of the fight occurs when Guilt, the big bad of the game, has reached near maximum power. The odds are stacked incomprehensibly high against the learned soul, which is the player, and their resolve is wavering though still present. The general gist is that it's a desperate battle against an equally desperate, large, and corrupted beast. So, with the basic outline explained, let's move on to the project itself now. Alright, so here's the project file itself. As you can see, it's pretty big. It's around four minutes long and has quite a few instruments. I'll be going through the song piece by piece, explaining certain choices and how I achieve certain sounds. If you prefer to skip to the song itself, though, you can click over to the chapter instead. So the song opens with a guitar cutting in and out before transitioning to a heavy riff. The idea behind the choppiness of the guitar here, which is done through a little bit of volume automation, is to give the sense of Learned Soul's will collapsing or being overwhelmed with this riff here, which is supposed to reflect guilt itself in its presence. Now, the guitar turn here. This turn is made using a digital electric guitar and a very heavy synth bass. To begin with, we'll go over the rhythm guitar here. So the guitar itself is the Shredders 3 Hydra plugin. We typically just stop using a preset, so in this case I use the Ready to Gent. I just kind of go from there. So after I get the bass plugin itself to a state I'm happy with, I go ahead and add a little bit of compression using this free plugin called Fire. Following this, I use the Audrey Compressor, which is just super duper crazy like the compressor thing. Um, with a little bit of multiband. This is the main thing that gives it its sound. It just makes it sound really ugly and gross, which is kind of what I'm going for. In other words, this entire fucking thing is just me going back and forth of balancing, okay, I want high end, I want low end. I want high end, I want low end. And I, I didn't need this many instances of, of like plugins, but that's what I did. I, I will be fair, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to sound stuff. I literally just keep adding things uh, effects until I'm like, it sounds good enough, I'll just leave it there. The lead here, which I just let play out. And interestingly enough, the instrument I used for it here is Earthbound Piano, which uh, would nerve most prominently for its use in Undertale. Uh, I, I like I, like I didn't really think oh yeah that'd be great for a synth sound. Uh, I just kind of like took the sound and was like I just wanted to take that and let me just like add a bunch of processing to it. So around here is where the song really kicks off. So I'll just go ahead and let that play out. Then following uh, this section, we get the uh, a, a bit of a development and the, the melody here. So here I reintroduced the Earthbound synth here. Um, I also do keep uh, the, the, the bottom synth here. Uh, I just lower its volume a bit, and I think I even possibly pan it. Yeah, I pan it a bit more to the left. Uh, so it's just kind of in the background, and it places more focus on these new melodies which get introduced. And then we have this violin melody which comes in, and then this also leads naturally into the next melody. Uh, 
So yes, cool, good. The things like the, the piano and the violin in this song are more reflective of the Lone Soul themselves. Uh, the, 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 the guitar, the, the synths, the lead synths, they're all more reflective of um, uh, guilt because guilt is corrupted, they're, they're not very good. Uh, Learn Soul is a bit more elegant and pretty, but even then the violin and the piano are a bit rough in their textures as well, which, I mean, at this point in the game, uh, Learn Soul has kind of been uh, you know, affected and molded by their journey. This is the end of their journey, you know, they're not gonna be uh, all pristine and elegant by this point, which is reflected in the instruments themselves, because this violin uh, has a little bit of compression on it, and I do believe it's, it's, it's yeah, downsampled a decent bit. All right, so we're leading into this new section here. This is probably the only, like, clean quote-unquote section of the song. There's no, like, overly distorted instruments. Uh, so just playing this section out. Quoted, uh, the bass line here is very fast and frantic. I do believe it is in uh, eight notes and it's being played at 240 BPM. So Learn Soul is uh, like this entire battle is very frantic and desperate. It's still like a hint of, uh, of chaos in there. Um, but this is like the, the only point in the song where uh, the Learn Soul has like a, a, a bit of um, a bit of an edge over uh, guilt in terms of, you know, like the whole song being kind of a battle against Learn Soul and uh, uh, guilt. Specifically, this part here with the bass, uh, there's a lot of uh, frantic playing here. Even the, the melody itself uh, that the violin is playing, it's uh, very desperate. Uh, it's not exactly hurtful. But as the as the song is kind of building here, uh, you would expect, like with the way that the melody is progressing, like this, you would expect that to kind of like lead into another melody or something of the sort. Uh, but um, I kind of like lead you off guard here with uh, with this section. The idea being that um, the Learn Soul's wavering grasp, this like desperate attempt at to, to still hold on, is uh, then like the rug swept under, you know, the listener slash the Learn Soul's feet, uh, and the the presence of guilt uh, comes back uh, through the form of these synths and this heavy like guitar uh, uh, riff, um, and. It, it, in keeping with like the frantic notion that was here before, the the riff itself. Uh, is a little bit faster. It has like the sense of constantly moving forward, especially like with those like kind of like uh, offbeat notes. Um, has like a bit of an unsteady rhythm to it, but the drums uh, kind of like just emphasize that rhythm. Uh, they're supposed to hit really hard, uh, playing lots of cymbals there. Um, I also make use of a, a friend of mine's uh, sample. A friend of mine, Alex, uh, lended their voice for some scream vocals, uh, which helps with this, fan, fan, works absolutely fantastic for this uh, transition here. <laughs> um, but yeah, for that, I just I just put a, a, a I just down sampled that a bit, put a little bit of delay and reverb on it, made it really make it feel full. I used it earlier, uh, layered. Um, really helps that 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 transition gives it like a lot more of a punch, uh, which uh, which I really like. So as this section of the song continues, I once again bring back this synth lead, the the scraping metal one that sounds really ugly. The the melody itself uh, is very chaotic. Uh, there's a lot of automation here with uh, panning and shit. Uh, I'll just play it out on its own here. I'll lower the volume a bit so it isn't gonna be like super horrible to listen to. So combined with everything else, it helps give uh, this section of the song a very um, chaotic feel uh, that everything is a, a little bit out of control, which is a bit reflective of, uh, of guilt's nature. So as this section continues, the, the melody will play out and uh, the melody itself actually resolves on a piano note, which is um, 
one to kind of catch you off guard and also gives you a sense of anticipation like when when things go from really loud to quiet um and like that that quiet slowly fades out it does kind of give the impression it resolved the melody in the sense that the melody is now going to repeat again sort of resolving expecting it to continue which that is um that is what what is happening here so i'll just solo out the uh the piano and the synth and i'll lower the synth volume Um, it's also just a, a nice way to help transition from one section to the other smoothly uh, and it also gives it much more weight when it comes back together again because uh, violin comes in, piano comes in, um, it, it sort of like it sort of like reflects like the, in, the, in the same way that the song like cuts out earlier and then it's just like fully just guilt, uh, uh, the, the song like comes back in again and uh, like kind of like takes you off guard and it, and it kind of like uh, reflects this idea that the, the learned soul is like still holding on and still like kind of pushing back against guilt here uh, with the reintroduction of these um, of these instruments. So with this section of the song um, it makes use of the melody that was just introduced with the synth uh, and it develops it out by adding a little bit more variation to it as well as giving it um, harmonies through the the violin as well as the piano adding a little bit of a, a counter melody on the side there um, which again these are uh, uh, symphonic elements representative of the learned soul and their will to continue fighting against that being said the Birkin synth is still there it's much lower and much more emphasis is placed on the violin and piano um, to kind of reflect like uh, this is this is the point in the song like where like okay the learned soul is kind of like uh you know taking a bit of initiative here uh and pushing back against guilt their guilt is still ever ever present pretty much throughout the entire song um the bass line here uh slash chord progression it's very simple uh it goes from like this you know very sporadic and frantic riff to just like this basic just chugging um not really chugging but like the just like a consistent rhythm uh that's just like ouch uh that's just there just like kind of like uh you know egg the song on um same thing with like the drum rhythm here uh it goes from being like slur to just a little bit more uh focus on you know just like just pushing it forward um but yeah that's the that's the general gist so keeping with the uh the the this theme of the learned soul beginning to like pick up in terms of like um their ability of fighting back and uh in this section here uh there's a bit more of a, a consistent replaying of the main theme light motif uh which this is kind of the altered version of the main theme the which you'll hear that throughout the song, as well as in some different variants of the uh, of the boss track, um, which it's the, you know, it's the, 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 the scary version of the main theme. Um, and then this transitions into Guilt's theme, uh, there's something here, actually. Uh, which Guilt's theme is just pretty much And that was introduced in the boss fight for the demo, which is the final boss of that demo. Um, that's where the, that melody is introduced, uh, which is the first time you fight a, a, a servant of guilt uh, in the game. Um, and so all the uh, I, I try to enter, like use this melody for all the guilt boss fights. Um, and in this section, that is kind of what's happening. It's like this idea of. Uh, Learn Souls, like, kind of, um, will showing through, but then that's slowly overtaken again by Guild, which will lead to a, a very sporadic section after it. Here, this melody is, like, all over the place. Its rhythm stops and it starts, um, which is kind of emphasizing this idea that the Learn Soul themselves, like, they're losing their footing in this battle. They're losing their control. Uh, there's narrative things that have to do with, like, what Guild necessarily wants from the Learn Soul, um, because... Their whole idea is they want something uh, that the Learned Soul has, yet the Learned Soul needs to give that to them. Um, and Learned Soul throughout the game is not willing to do that, uh, which that is their that is their will. Um, but we can see that kind of like wavering here through the uh, through the piano. And again, uh, only to further emphasize uh, this chaotic section, uh, the bass line itself just kind of like transforms into like this really chaotic, frantic uh, riff rhythm thingy majingy uh, very basic chord progression through just pretty much just four chords uh, 
uh, you know, just kind of just like, bum, bum. Uh, really emphasizing those like kind of like off beats because uh, it's playing a bit off beat. Uh, the drums themselves here also uh, kind of just emphasize this as well. There's a, a little bit of like off beat playing. Very, very chaotic. There's not really a, a like a like a proper sense of like forward rhythm, which is what we had before. Um, all right, so that, that, that's mainly all I gotta say about this section. There's just a descending bass line with a descending lead on that rhythm guitar. It's just like this full chaos kind of um, like you know, I guess to sound poetic uh, in some stupid way, like oh, descending into insanity. Um, but it's again just kind of creating this idea of losing control. And the drum uh, rhythm here is very fast and frantic as well. Uh, it's sort of just like kind of keeping in line with like that 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 frantic nature that was introduced before. Um, and we even have a little bit of a dupa dupa dupa, uh, a bit of a, a melody here with uh, this again. Um, which this entire section of the song is uh, very, uh, very repetitive in, in, in nature. Um, and that's just kind of just there for like texture and again just kind of like a, a like a reminder of guilt's presence um and then with this we get a transition into a more steady section so with the with the main thing being introduced here uh, reintroduced with um your know, very steady drum pattern um same chord progression as well uh it, it, it's again just kind of like to reflect like this desperate nature of uh of, of the lone soul but like yes it's once again them kind of like regaining a little bit of presence in this fight uh which then transitions uh after you know like the the main themes light motif is done it, it transitions into the like this rising melody which is very much uh at opposition with this descending bass line um which is again just kind of like reinforced like these two uh like ideas kind of like clashing um lone soul of course much more hurtful guilt uh, much less hurtful um and then this also leads into the next part of this melody which is just a just focuses on the violin here and it also leads into a new chord progression which is full-on just rising um and then once again, uh, the the song will crash down because uh, you can't have one hurtful uh, section of the song just play out forever. So once uh, once we get some hurtfulness, it crashes again into not happy. So with the song, you know, kind of moving into like this closing section here, it begins to slow down a little bit. Uh, there's a recurring motif with some of the, like the battle themes and such. Uh, which is emphasized here with like the bass, uh, the bass line and the bass drums, this like the dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, uh, which is supposed to be um, reminiscent of a heartbeat, which uh, is kind of reflective of, um, no kind of, like it's reflective of the learned soul, still alive, still fighting, still willing to go on um in, in spite of you know whatever they're up against uh but even then this piano melody here uh guilt's theme again so once again it's like that twisting of uh this instrument which is uh, associated with the learned soul yet it's playing guilt's theme it sounds very desperate not very hurtful which is kind of how the song closes out and we also have a bit of a counter melody here Um, very much not hurtful whatsoever, <laughs> uh, um, which again, uh, guilt's uh, presence in the song, and then we eventually move to a violin melody here. So it's kind of like it brings back that melody, that main that main theme again, which this will then lead into. Uh, but it's no longer hurtful. It's no longer under a hurtful context. It's under a very desperate, uh, kind of like uh, clinging to a hurt sort of uh, uh, context. And then that leads into the final section here. Um, which again main melody again that guitar really kind of like comes in chugging uh, and 
Uh, it's, it ends off very slow and steady on this main theme. Uh, and again, under this context of uh, dark and kind of depressing, um, and it, it's very devoid of hope, which uh, some some sections of the song you could argue have hope to them. They, they, they are in a more positive light than this section here, which by the way, for all this, I've just cut out the drums because I'm sick of having to like mute them whenever, I, or like waiting for the, the noise to cut out before I can start talking. Um, Sorry, there are drums for this. I'm just, I just, I just muted them. The learned soul, in a way, like uh, re-emphasizing the fact that they are beaten, they are tired. Uh, at this point in the game, they've been fighting throughout the whole thing. By now, they don't really want to keep fighting in the sense that, like, part of them sees this idea of giving up uh, as like just like a, a way for them to to rest. In a sense, this continues. And then that gets it ready to loop. Uh, so yeah, that is that is the uh, that is the song. Um, I will go ahead and probably just play it in its entirety now. Uh, very, I, I, I think uh, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, it's probably still going to go through some different tweaks and variants, um, but this is very much in line with. Uh, you know, my vision for this version of the final boss, uh, a very chaotic and desperate fight uh, with two opposing sides uh, clashing. Um, but that that is it, that is it. And oh boy, I have a lot of uh, unscripted audio to edit through and it's been a while since I've done that. Uh, here is the full song now in its entirety.
That's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in the game, you can wishlist it on Steam, which would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. I'll be returning to my usually weekly uploads as well, so I hope you stick around until then. See you next time.